Today we're reviewing Zuckan Feeds. Hello, welcome to Green Negri Faith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now today I've been lucky enough to be sent all this suck and feeds, and I'm gonna test and review it in this video, so stay tuned. Okay, let's get into it. Now this feed is made by Zucan Feeds, it's a company based in Spain, very reputable company and they produce some fantastic feeds. Now we've got some of the range here today and I'm going to talk a little bit individually about each type. So, but most important, and the thing I want to come and get across today in this video is, I think this is one of the only feeds on the market that can claim it's HMF free. Now all your bee feeds are going to be very low in HMF, so they're going to be safe to use. But what it looks like that uh, Zucan has brought that level down again to the point that they can call it HMF free. So that's something uh, well worth considering when you buy any bee feeds because you want your HMF very, very low because high levels of HMF will kill your bees. Okay, first up is Appy Mix. So this is their invert setup, this is their liquid feed. So this comes in a 14 kilo drum like this, IBC tanks and in handy one kilo trays. Now I'm not a big fan of those one kilo trays, this is how I like to feed my bees. Handy to carry, 14 kilo drums, you just keep this in the back of the truck at all times, if anything needs a feed, put a gallon of this on and that hive is going to be absolutely spot on. No, this is definitely a darker colour compared to some feeds on the market. Um, quite like the look of it, like the branding. It's got a massive sell by date. And I'm going to keep saying this in this video. Uh, the last video I put up was uh, debating whether you should mix your own feed or buy purpose made feed. Well, let me just show you on the back of this all the ingredients and vitamins that goes into this type of feed. You just cannot get that level of nutrition and vitamins and trace elements in a feed that you mix yourself. You've got to buy it in these uh, ready-made feeds. These are designed to keep honeybees healthy, designed for honeybee nutrition. This type of feed is very, very good. Now, the Happy Mix, like I said, it's more than just a sugar syrup. This stuff won't ferment. Uh, it can last for, well, I'd say years, probably by law. They've got to put at least a year on, I would have thought. So yeah, they put a 18 month best before date on this from the date of manufacturing, which you're always going to be using your feed up within that space of time. It's almost two years date. But take it from me, this stuff doesn't waft. The sugar level is so high, it can ferment this stuff will last pretty much forever. So that's their liquid feed, that's their invert feed. Really like the look of that. Let's look at some fondant. Right, the first fondant I've got here is the Appy Pasta. Now this is their basic fondant range. Comes in a one kilo bag like that. Feel that, that's nice and soft. That's how I like my fondant. I don't like this to be hard, I like this to be soft and the texture there is spot on. Really, really good. Now, what I noticed with these, these guys have gone the extra mile, really, with the branding and marketing and just information that they give you on the pack, which I really like. So if we turn this around, and on the top there, you've got a square, like a cut-out square, and then underneath there, you've got a bigger one. So what they've worked out is, if you're calling these weak, you just cut out the small section, and if your colony is a big strong colony, then you cut this big square section. I really like that, shows that they, they've thought about this, they've put a lot of research into it, and they've just gone the extra mile with the branding and marketing really, I like that. Even though I just put a big cross in there, that's a lovely touch. But let's go back to the feed, what's in the bag? One kilo bag, I prefer this to be 2.5, but one kilo is fine. I think one kilo is the most used um, feed size 
so that's why the manufacturers they go with the one kilo because that's what the market demands but that's okay again people think this is very similar to baker's fondant it's not let's have a look at the ingredients vitamins trace elements it is full of nutrition trace elements and vitamins now your baker's fondant that's just going to be a refined sugar this stuff goes beyond that always worth remembering the purpose made stuff is a better feed when it comes to feeding your bees and again all this feed is hmf free which is really really good um zero risk with uh, hmf free um not sure how they've brought that uh, level down so much but um fair play to them that's down so this is going to be your pretty much main feed if you're ever wanting to feed fondant in the winter this is the one you're going to go for this is your plain this is your basic version of it and uh, yeah i like the look of that and later on in this video i'm going to go down the apron i'm going to feed this to one of my bees and um, i'll show you how i feed my bees and how you can feed your bees using these packs okay next up is api pasta vitamins now we notice a color difference here straight away this is a bit more yellow but that's yellow because there's a lot more stuff in this api pasta vitamins now it's the same packaging the same stuff on the back but it, what's inside is very much different so this is the same fondant as in the api pasta before it's just got added vitamins and it's got a lot of vitamins let me show you on this box what's in here look at all that ingredients all that trace elements it's got pretty much anything you'd want in there for bees and i've been talking to the manufacturers and suppliers of this um this is just an extra level of nutrition in the fondant base so if you want your bees to go uh, through winter and have more than what's required from go through winter then this is what you want to be feeding now i really like the look of this feed i'm going to be using a lot of this in spring if something is a bit light in spring then i'm going to give them the extra boost of vitamins if i've got to feed them quite like the look of that it just shows these manufacturers are just taking bee nutrition to the next level when it comes to feeds and uh, i just think it's a matter of time before all the bee uh, feed manufacturers they're going to go down this road of making super fondant when it comes to feeding bees okay and finally we've got api pasta plus now straight away that looks totally different to the other api pastas number one the color is totally different and even the packaging is totally different now even here we've got the cut around here piece and i quite like this hard bit of packaging cut a square there drop that over the clown board that is going to stay strong even with the roof on it it's not going to crush down so it's going to hold your roof up a little bit if it's touching uh, your crown board really like the look of that now if you're wondering what's so special about this feed is so this is still the api pasta fondant base recipe but it's got even more nutrition and vitamins than the vitamins version this has even got a high level of protein so this is designed as a total feed replacement now this is what you want to be using when you're making queens you're making splits the weathers are awful the bees need protein the bees need to get that pollen into the hive so they can rear some lava this is where that feed comes in if we get two weeks of rain that's two weeks of no pollen coming into the hive now on the strongest hive they can cope with that because they've got ample pollen storage but your smaller nukes and especially your apideas if you breed in queens they're not going to have uh, pollen uh, storage whatsoever this is where this feed comes in put that on on your small hives 
this is a total feed replacement. They get the sugar and they get the pollen, which is the protein in this. Just using this for that type of uh, queen rearing could save you a lot of money and it could produce much, much better queens if you're relying on the weather. Using this, doesn't matter what the weather is going to do, you know that hive is going to get the nutrition in. And finally, let's have a look at what's in your vitamin and nutrition wise. That's the biggest list of them all. Absolutely full of nutrition. And again, it just goes to prove if you want your bees to get the best types of food, best types of nutrition, this is the type of feed that you want to be feeding your bees. Forget about mixing it yourself. Buy the proper stuff because companies like this, they've got the machines, they've got the technology, they have invested millions in making this feed, testing the feed, you know, and most of this feed is, is the research from the ground up. That's where the research has come from. They've started off with the basic fondant and looked at bee health, bee nutrition, and gone, how can we improve the honeybee's health, fitness, energy levels, breeding levels, nutrition levels, and then they work a feed around that. So yeah, big fan of this feed. Well, there's nothing left to do now, apart from going out into the apiary. I know at least one hive will need a feed today. So let's go down the apiary and I'll show you how to feed this fondant. All right, so I'm down in the apiary. I've got my happy pasta fondant. There's just a couple of hives here I'm gonna heft. And if anyone needs a bit of feed, I'm just gonna show you how easy this is to feed. Okay, so we've got a hive here. This is a little bit low on feed. See the bees there, they're obviously clustering down the middle. And on this pack, big strong colony says cut that big small bit there. Don't take too much notice of that. We just want to expose the feed so that the bees can get access to it. So I just cut a little cross in there, that's always my favourite way. Peel that back like that. Now I'm not going to push these bees out the way. I'm going to let them there. I'm just going to expose that over half the clown board like so. Let's bring the camera around and show you. So they can get access into the bag. I'm not going to crush these bees there at all. And that's how easy this feed is to use. Well, that's how easy it is to feed this fondant. Now, nothing else needs to feed you today. But if you were going to feed this into a poly hive, it's exactly the same as well how I fed that timber hive, and likewise with the nukes. If you're using a panes type nuke, this just slots down the feeder, it's got the top, they can get access to it, and similar to the maze more or uh, other manufacturers, you feed from the top, take the inserts out, put the fondant in, and the bees can get access to it like that. Now, very important, you don't cut all this plastic off. Always have the plastic surrounding the outside because you don't want the air going to it and hardening the fondant. This comes super soft now, and that's how the bees like it. They'll eat this no problem, as long as the texture stays like this. Well, as you can see, feeding that fondant is just as easy as that. No work, no stickiness in the car, no work at home. Just open the bag, put it on the hive, job done. Now, if you're thinking about buying a bee feed for your bees, then I definitely recommend this feed. This feed is probably one of the better ones on the market. There's a few good ones out there, and I think this is one of the top ones as well. So buy with confidence if you're going to be buying this feed.
Well, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video out every week. Thanks for watching.